You fall and you break, you got battles to take them, but you figure it out, yeah. And you fall and you break, you got changes to make now. See the light at the end of the tunnel, it's right there, and I just look up and follow. Take one step at a time, babe, I'm with you. So, baby, get up, 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 up. What's up, Evan the Wee fam? It's your boy Waylon. And it's your girl Mia. And we're back with another video, guys. Yeah. All right. What we got going today, Mia? So we're gonna do an updated Q and A since we haven't done one in a minute, and um, we're gonna be talking about some more recent topics that we haven't talked about since the last time we did a Q and A. We asked y'all questions on Instagram, our Instagram story, and we got a bunch of questions, so I wrote them all down. And we're just gonna go through them and answer them honestly. We haven't done a Q and A so long, so we feel like y'all don't even know us no more. I know, like, cause a lot has changed. We're very different. Than, yes. I don't even know when the last time was, but it's been a minute, so. Like a year or two. Probably, yeah. And we're married now. So yeah, we are married. We have different opinions on things. These are in no particular order. I just went from the questions on my Instagram story. So, the first question is, what was our favorite thing from our wedding? Ooh. Do you have one? You go first. I'm going to start with what my favorite memory from my wedding was, and that was when me and Waylon got our marriage license. We were, like, in the grocery store getting um, food for the next day, and his sister was like, you know you guys are already married since you have your marriage license. That was my favorite part, too. Really? I like whenever, like, and we realized that we were we married. We were, like, we got so excited. Like, we were like, oh, my God, <laughs> we're married. And so we were just, like, in the um, grocery store just like, oh, my gosh, we're married. It and freaked so, me out. Yeah, it was crazy. Like, it was a moment like, oh, like, we're really getting married tomorrow. Like, we're married right now. What? So that was, like, a really good memory from the wedding. So we basically got the same one. So I yeah. really can't even. Okay. Well, from the wedding part, um, I really liked seeing everything for the first time. Yeah, me too. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Actually, I don't think I've ever told Waylon this, but um, the day of our wedding when I was, like, getting ready and stuff, someone was like, hey, you know the um, wedding is set up out there on the sand because it was a beach wedding. Yeah. And they were like, you know, it's all set up out there. And I was like, what? Oh, my gosh, it's set up. And so they showed me a picture, and it was, like, so pretty. And that was really I cool. almost cried seeing it for the first time. Yeah, that was really cool. Sorry, guys, I just yawned. This is a two-part question. What was our favorite thing about each other when we were dating and now that we're married? Oh, uh, my favorite thing about Mia when we were dating is how sweet she was. Now what's your favorite thing when we're now married, that we're married? That she's a wife. Okay. Like, uh, she like actually that. do wife things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said that I was sweet because... She's mean now. When I... It, this is the truth, guys. When I love people more, I'm meaner. I don't know why. I don't know why that happens, but it is just the way I am. Um, it's kind of crazy to think about, too. Yeah, it's like the opposite of what it should be. I don't know why I do that. But my favorite thing about Waylon when we were dating, the way that he approached me. I think I've said that before. That's a W. But it was, like, very different than any other guy that's ever talked to me, and that's why we're married now, because the way he approached me was really respectful and genuine and i liked it and i want to try to get in them pants cook exactly and now that we're married my favorite thing about him is his motivation to make a good life for us like Aww. his motivation to like Aww, dedicate his that's life so sweet <laughs> i know that like he literally does everything just for like me and our future family so i just love that that's about so Waylon. Sweet. It's Aww. true. It's true. This question, we're not going to answer on here, but somebody did ask, how did we meet? Um, that's a whole other video on our channel. So, There's a YouTube video. Yeah, we made a whole video because it's very complicated. So if you want to go watch that, it's interesting. What was the first impression, our first impression of each other when we met? Okay, when I first met Mia, my first impression was like, dang, she fine. Oh my gosh, come on. Like, I knew she was like cute, but like when I seen her in person, I was like, oh. That's crazy. I'm not yeah. lying. That was my first impression. Yeah, because I'm not photogenic at all, so I could see that being Yeah, cute. she really didn't post pictures like that. Yeah. Her. That's all you had to say is that, is that I was cute? Okay. No, no, no. Okay, personality-wise, you were outgoing. Yeah, you wasn't shy. Wow. When I first met you, you wasn't shy. That's you a just shocker. Like, you were just talking so much. Yeah. I like that about you because I, I was like shy. I don't like awkward silence. I was shy. I'm good. Okay, here's the thing. I'm really good one-on-one -on -one with people. 
But I'm in not. big groups, I'm terrible. I'm a big group type person. Ooh, raise your opposite. hand. Raise your opposite. hand if you're a big group type person. I'm so good one on one because I like to have someone's full attention. I don't raise like. Raise your type. hand if you're a big group type person. Raise your hand if you're a one on one person. First impression of Wayland was that he was very sweet and he was a gentleman. And I didn't know the first night if that was real or not. I don't know if that was just like what he was like putting on so that I would like him. And he's very honest. <laughs> very. And not, sometimes not in a good way. Next question is, what do we not like about being content creators besides haters? Inconsistency that it comes with. Yes. That's... Like your emotions can get played with really badly when it comes to like your business side of it. Like your yeah. views and your... Yeah, that's really what I don't like about it. That's yeah. it. Like, it's just like, it's in the air and you're living by faith. If you get a video go viral, that's good for you. But sometimes you won't even get no views like you're supposed to get. And it's just messing with your brain a little bit. Mine's kind of the same answer. There's really nothing else that I don't like about it. And guys, if y'all see me looking at looking over here, it's because my computer screen is on. We're building up my PC set up. Okay. So we keep looking at the screen. Okay, next question. How do we like married life? Love it. Love being married. I recommend it to anybody. I say this a million times. I was telling everybody marriage is a scam. That's what, that was my thing. Like, uh -huh. it's a scam. Don't do it. You can yeah. be biblical married, and it's fine. But the side that y'all don't understand that I don't understand is that we choose to go spend thousands of dollars on the wedding. We don't have to. So how is that a scam? It's not. It's not. Exactly. Marriage is the best. Marriage is the best. You're like one equal yoke. All your bills and finances and name is the same and everything is just legalized and you're living life together. You know, you just can't up and leave whenever you want to. You know what I'm saying? And Things happen. Like, you can work through it. Mm -hmm. It's just so much goodness that come with marriage, man. Y'all understand. I can talk all day about it. I love it so much. And if you're not married and you're waiting to put that ring on her finger, you better do it, boy. You better do it because she tired of waiting. You went in the preach. She tired of waiting. <laughs> it's over. I'm, she's tired of waiting. Uh, Stop being a little boy and oh man up my gosh. and go put that go put that uh, blow pop uh, ring on her finger if you can't afford one. Any oh ring, any God. ring will count, brother. Y'all put Waylon in preach mode. Because man, I just hate to see females like low key beg for a ring. Yeah. And like the guys just saying, oh, I'm going to wait. I don't, I don't know if I want to. Like, truthfully, guys are scared. They're scared to get tied down. They're scared to what comes with, you know, you're, you're, you're trapped. You're stuck. They don't like that. They don't like being tied down. And that's yeah. the truth. That's why they actually are waiting. They're like, dang, if I get married, I can't do what I want to do. I can't, like, if something happens. I can't just get up out of this. Oh, she's going to take all my money. How did we know that, like, each other were the one? I really can't even put my finger on that. Like, I can't say one thing. Like, I just, he did this, so I knew he was the one. It's It was more like a feeling. Like, I was just very connected to him. Like, I knew I couldn't leave him alone at all. Like, after we met, I was like, I, I'm not going to stop talking to him. That's crazy. For a long, long, long that time. That is crazy. What, what about you? That's crazy. Like, looking back and I didn't know you. I know. <laughs> That's crazy. But it's true. That's like, crazy. I was just immediately, we were just immediately connected. It was like we, like, had, it was like we had known each other before. Blows my mind. I ain't gonna lie. This, this when we, every time I talk about this, I try to relive this moment. Because, like, the way we got together is, like, the most insane way ever. When I first met you, I just knew, like, something about you that I was gonna like. That's gonna make me be stuck. I am a Christian. I always been a Christian, but back then I was like religion, heavy on religion. I went to church a whole lot, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, growing up and stuff like that, and I prayed so much about every girl I came across if I mm -hmm. liked her. And I, mm -hmm. I prayed God show me the right signs that this is the one every time. And a young age, since 14 years old, I did that. And I didn't get not one red flag. The only red flag I got from her, she told me she still wasn't over her ex. That's it. I told him that the first That's night. That's it. That's all. And I really, I really only said that because he had just, I had just broken up with him like maybe a month or two before that, and so I was like, I just want, you, even I that. wanted you to know. It was that. like weeks. Yeah, it was, it was very soon. 
I wanted to be honest with you and let you know that we hadn't completely stopped talking yet. And that's why I didn't stop talking to you. Because I was fresh off a breakup too, a couple months. Yeah. So we both were. When do we plan on having kids? This is the golden question. I'd be okay. lying to y'all if I tell y'all it's not in the air. It's not anything that we're just holding back. It's not anything that we're just trying for. Right. If it happens, it happens. If God put a little whaling in there, then we'll let whaling walk whaling. around. No, a little Mia. A, I'm a, girl. a little Mia. But yeah, that's the answer to that question. We've said that a few times. It's in God's hands. Next question. How old were we when we thought about getting married? We actually did not think about getting married that often. We didn't care about it for real. We're not wedding people. Like, we didn't really care about it. No. But all I would say is that, like, I used to say I do not want to have a wedding until I can legally drink. So I was like, I don't want to get married until I'm 21. So if you want to get engaged like a year before that, then that's fine. But yeah, that, that, was, that was her rule for me. That so. was my one stipulation. Is I figured out I wanted to get married when I was 19. Yeah, me too. Like that's when I was like, okay, we're gonna I was get like, married, yeah, okay, I want to marry her. This question's for me. Mia, what was your dream life slash wedding slash kids? So basically, like, what was like my Pinterest board as a teenager or like when I was a kid? Honestly, I was never the type to like do stuff like that. Like I wasn't the girl to like plan my wedding. I wasn't the girl to like plan out what kind of house I was gonna have and like my kids, just stuff like that. Like, I don't know. I always thought I wanted to have like two kids maybe. Um, obviously wanted to be married, but as far as like a wedding, I never really thought about a wedding when I was a kid because I just, I didn't dream about stuff like that. I don't know why. This is our last question, guys, and this is a really good one. I like last this one. question. So this question is, what was our dream job growing up, and what do we do now? Oh, that's a good I question. I know, that is a good question. Want me go first? Um, yeah, you go first. My dream job growing up was to go play professional baseball. Um, I really wanted to do that badly, and I was on track to do what I felt like until a guy said, hey, come here, you have a wife you got to take care of. Oh. And, um, yeah, that's what happened to me. I caught a few injuries, and I just stopped playing ball. And what, what was the other part? Uh, what do you do now? Uh, full-time content creation and a full-time entrepreneur. I had a lot of different dream jobs, but basically when I was a kid, like ever since I was little, I always said that I wanted to work in a hospital. Um, even if I was just like a janitor or something, I wanted to work in a hospital. And now, which like one of my dream jobs was like a surgeon, which as I got older, I realized that that's a lot of school and a lot of money. So I was like, never mind on that. Um, and then I wanted to, I knew I didn't want to be a nurse, never wanted to be a nurse, but, um, now I work in x-ray and I'm in school for ultrasound and I do social media with Waylon. So those are my jobs now. And I'm, I could not be happier. Like it's perfect for me. Everything I do is perfect. Yeah. It worked out well. Yeah. But guys, there's our Q&A for you. If you want more questions, comment down below and say, hey, we want a part two. We want it juicier. We want to hear about the ins and outs of y'all life. We want to know what went on growing up. We want to know deeper. We want to know me and Waylon deeper. If you want to know that, make sure y'all comment down below. And without further ado, guys, I mean, that's the end of the video. Anything that's you the end of the video. No, all I have to say is that I love my life. Well, we love you guys, and we hope you all enjoyed this Q&A. And let us know what other videos you want to see from us on here. And yeah, that's it for the video. We are out. It's your boy Mia. It's your girl Waylon. And we are out. Peace. So baby, get up, 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 up. Don't you stay down, down, down.